Hello everybody. Recently, the last uh, two or three months, I started to use the Cocos 2D Python, which is a, a nice Pythonic game engine. So in this video, I'm just created a simple presentation, PowerPoint presentation, just to show you the what is Cocos 2D and uh, some of the basic concepts. So let's get into it. So what is Coco Studio? It's a Python game engine. It's built upon Pyglet, so it's a layer above Pyglet. And Pyglet is a cross-platform windowing and multimedia library for Python. It supports uh, windowing, OpenGL graphics, user event handling, playing songs and videos, etc. And Cocos 2D uh, was ported to several other languages, like the Cocos 2D X, which is the C++ version. Then there is a Cocos 2D JS, which is the JavaScript version. Also, there is Cocos 2D XNA which is built uh, for, for the XNA and uh, C Sharp and the Cocos 2D Swift, which is for the Swift programming language. And I, as far as I know, uh, initially Cocos 2D was written in Python and then it was ported to these other languages. But maybe I am wrong, but let's go. So Cocos 2D Python's current version is 0.6.5, which was released in 2017, August, August 2017. Okay, now let's go to the basic concept of Cocos 2D Python. So there is the di director or the director. It's a singleton object. It, it's responsible for creating the main window and it also responsible for managing the scenes and now let's go to the scenes okay what is a scene it's like a stage or a screen you can have multiple scenes, but only one can be active at a given time. And some example, you can have an intro, intro scene, a menu scene, a level 1 scene, some cut scene, level 2 scene, etc. So your game will be consist mainly from scenes. And you can make nice, uh, beautiful looking transitions between scenes. And a scene is a subclass of Cocos node, which means it's transformable manually or by using actions. And a scene can contain multiple layers. So now let's go to layers. It organizes the scene from back to front axis. It defines the appearance and the behavior of the application. Uh, the, see, the layer is also where you define the event handling. And you have multiple layers, just named a few multiplex layer, color, color layer, and scrollable layer, and etc. Its uh, layer is also subclass of Cocos node, which means it's transformable manually or by using actions. Now let's go to the sprites. Sprite is just a 2D image. It can be moved, rotated, scaled, and also animated. Can have a sprite can have other sprites as its children. When a parent is 
transformed or the children or the child are transformed as well. A sprite is also a subclass of Cocos node, which means it is also transformable manually or by using actions. So now end of the presentation, so let's go to the website python.cocos2d.org. So here we are, python.cocos2d.org. So as you see, today is um, May, May 6th, 2018. So it's not, not actively developed because the last, the last release was made about eight or nine months ago and here is stated that this is a maintenance release with a few bug fixes and support for the upcoming Pilot 1.3 tested against Pilot 1.3 release candidate 1 okay now let's go to the games. Here is here are some examples of games written in Cocos Studio Python. Here's the Tetrico. You can contribute contribute. So the main channel for the Cocos Studio discussion is the Cocos Studio user group, uh, Google group. So here is a GitHub repository. If you open it, here are some very good sample projects. Also, here in the test folder. So, I strongly recommend you to visit these pages and then also go to the doc slash tutorials page here you will find some useful informations oops especially the programming guide html online and here here is basic concepts i just covered with my presentation and some very useful information, a lot more than I covered uh, in my presentation. Here is how a scene uh, looks like. So here you have an intro scene. From this scene you can transition to the menu screen. From this menu screen you can transition to the level 1 screen or scene. Or from the menu one, you can transition to the high score scene, and so on from level one to cutscene, or to the losing cutscene, from cutscene one to level two scene, from level two scene to winning cutscene, or to the losing cutscene. So scenes are very useful. And also, here is the API reference. where you can find all the modules in Cocos 2D Python. So I think in the next video I'm just going to create a basic Hello World or Hello Cocos application. So thanks for watching and have a nice day.